Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, in today's video we're gonna cover everything, so make sure that you're sticking here until the end because we're gonna cover different assets and you definitely want to take part of this nice opportunity that we could have here in the immediate future. So yesterday we were so close to a new all time high. We got rejected here exactly at $58,200. So $200 left before a new all time high. And what we're seeing right now could be a last pullback here before we gonna then of course uh, create new all time highs. And you know what happens always when Bitcoin is hitting new all time highs, we always gonna moonshot towards new levels. So currently in the four hour time frame, let's go over here into the four hour. You can see that we are right here at the nine moving average. So this is usually always a very strong support during an explosive move to the upside. So far we had a week down to the 20 moving average. And in my opinion, it is not very likely that we will fall below the 20 moving average here in the not so distant future, at least not until the weekend. But if so, if we're going to start to close four hour candles below the 20 moving average and below this support trend line that you're seeing here from this potential ascending broadening wedge that we are in right now, the target of course could be all the way down here of 52 to 53,000 dollar. So if this happens, take it as a very, very good long and buy opportunity because there most likely we're going to get a huge bounce again to the upside because this was our previous strong resistance and now it should be acting as a very strong support. So this is the worst case scenario here for the short time frames. If we're going to start to close four hour candles below the support here of 55,600, be prepared to see again 52 to 53,000. So take it as a good long and buy opportunity if you want to trade this. And of course, it is not very likely that we're going to start to fall below this support. In the opposite, I think that here we're going to see a healthy bounce to the upside. Because what we are seeing right now is the pullback and the result of this bearish divergence that we had here in the RSI. So we had here lower highs in the RSI and higher highs in the price. So that is a bearish divergence and it looks like that this is already playing out and here at the 20 moving average we should have already enough support. So I think that if we have a look here into the lower time frames, uh, we're gonna get some very nice uh, long opportunities. For example, uh, here at this trend line here at around $55,600. And therefore we should expect a continuation to the upside. And as soon as we can take out the all time high of $58,400, then I'm pretty confident that we will go straight here towards $60,000, potentially even go up here to test our next bullish target of 62,000. And of course, if we are able to create support above the old all time high, so above $58,000, then I'm pretty confident that we could even reach 75,000 during this month of March, latest in April. So in the lower time frames, this little pullback was expected and I think it's just a matter of time till we're gonna see here a bounce to the upside. But keep in mind, if you're trading with high leverage here on Bybit or Femex, that we could also drop towards 52 to 53,000, maybe also during the weekend and then immediately bounce back up here towards a new all time high. Because uh, since we are entering now the weekend and you know weekend is always a play time, I think that this possible drop towards 52 to 53,000 could happen maybe during this weekend, if not today. But overall, we should expect continuations uh, to the upside. Uh, as soon as here in the lower time frames we are seeing a healthy bounce, I think nothing can stop us uh, of creating a new all time highs. And although if we have a look here into the daily time frame, you can see that yesterday we had here a close above this uh, previous all time high area here. So uh, when we created this all time high here of around $58,400, you can see that the daily close was at 
at 57,500. And yesterday we closed we closed uh, slightly above this uh, candle. So that is very bullish, my friends. And that's why I'm also expecting continuations to the upside. And if we could see a short term pullback here below our support currently at 55,600, then watch out here. First for the nine daily moving average right here at 52,700. So let's say 53,000. And of course you're down at the 20 daily moving average, this support here of $51,000. So in my opinion, we are out of the woods yet. We are now potentially gearing up for a big move towards new levels. And as soon as we can take out the $62,000, so this resistance that we have from this ascending broadening wedge, I'm pretty confident that we could even moonshot here towards 67,600 based on this uh, trend line that we have here from these last highs that we had here at 42 and 58,000. And uh, if we are able to create support above 60K, then the ultimate target would be here at around 75,000, when then I'm expecting another potential correction back down to retest the $60,000 and then maybe see continuations to the upside towards 80,000 and so on. As long as we are maintaining with this support trend line that we have here at around the $50,000 right now. So this is very important that we are not losing this green trend line that we have below of us because otherwise if we would break out to the downside here, which also could of course end up in a big rising wedge, this price action that we are seeing here in the daily, then the target could be a at least all the way down here towards 30k in the worst case scenario even down here towards uh, $20,000 for the worst case scenario. I don't think that is likely but based here on the price chart it is still possible that in case that we're gonna lose here this support here that we could even drop towards the 200 daily moving average which is here at $25,000 maybe even weak down here towards 20k but overall we should maintain now the 200 daily moving average as a very strong support for the worst case scenario. I don't say that we have to go right now down to this uh, price level, but based on the charts, it is uh, possible, but of course not very likely. In the opposite, I'm expecting here continuation to the upside because we're still far away from a cycle top or even a local top. And that's why I still think that here we're going to see new all time highs uh, pretty soon. So the daily time frame is looking very bullish. And now let's go over into the weekly because of course next week we have to update these two important moving averages here. First, the nine weekly, which currently is here at $44,000. So far, we always held it as a very strong support. That's why as long as we're keeping up with this support here of the nine weekly moving average, we should expect continuations to the upside only as soon as we're gonna start to close weekly candles below the nine weekly moving average. Then of course, there is a high risk that we could drop towards the 20 weekly moving average. Currently is here at $33,000. Usually Bitcoin never goes lower than the 20 weekly moving average during a bull market. So that's why it is very hard to press the price below $33,000, even though of course it is possible that we could drop towards 25 to 20K but during a bull market that is very very unlikely and that's why I think uh, that we could maybe see one day here a retest of the 20 weekly moving average currently 33,000 but uh, also these two moving averages uh, week by week they increase so that's why I'm uh, also still very very bullish here in the weekly time frame and nothing is looking like that we uh, should see here a major correction or anything like that in the opposite I think here we're gonna see also continuations to the upside uh, towards uh, new all-time highs very very uh, soon and that's why my friends make sure that you gear up with some Bitcoin if you don't have yet bought already enough Bitcoin and of course also make yourself ready to trade this over on Bybit and Femex and if you're trading over on Femex make sure to uh, join this trading competition that is starting on the 24th of March you find the sign up link down below here in the video description make sure to join and if you want to be part of our community and where I'm also gonna be trading then make sure to uh, join this team over here this Chinese guy because last time we became second with the last competition so if you want uh, a, a slight a little chance to win this competition up to 45 Bitcoin then I think it's not a bad idea to join our uh, team here uh, from this uh, Chinese uh, guy that no one knows 
and uh, now we can go back into the chart and uh, since Bitcoin is looking very bullish and this pullback that we're seeing right now you should take it as a good uh, long and buy opportunity and if we drop here towards 52 to 53 maybe during the weekend then also take it as a good buy opportunity because we're definitely headed towards new all-time highs and the same goes also for ethereum ethereum most likely is gonna follow bitcoin and the good thing about ethereum is that we are still trading here sideways and we are consolidating here above the 200 moving average in four hour and you can see that we are stuck here between the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement here of 1760 and the resistance up here of 1890. So also here I'm expecting uh, as soon as Bitcoin is starting to explode again to the upside that also Ethereum here will, will catch up and come very close to the old all time high here of $2,000 and then most likely also break it to the upside. So Ethereum currently is lagging a bit behind. I think also here we're going to see a retest of the all time high pretty soon. Same like over on Bitcoin. So if you're a bit late to trade Bitcoin, then maybe think about to trade Ethereum because here also I think that Ethereum will be next here in uh, testing the old all time high here. And of course, you can also trade Ethereum here on Bybit and Femex if you want to open up a long position. So also here, I think that we're gearing up for a retest of $2,000 and then most likely also break it. And since we are now here in the Ethereum chart, let's have a look also into the Bitcoin dominance. We didn't look at that chart for a very long time. And here you can see that currently we are still trapped here in this support between this support line here of around 60 uh, percent and the 200 daily moving average up here at around 63 percent. So we had here now a buy signal in the daily time frame. That's why I think there is a very high chance that we're going to see continuations here to the upside to maybe retest here the 200 daily moving average, maybe even go higher towards 66%. So what I'm expecting here is, of course, um, more uh, dominance for Bitcoin. And that means that maybe some altcoins uh, will not perform as uh, good as uh, Bitcoin. But uh, as soon as here we're going to top out at the 200 daily moving average or latest here at 66% and then drop again here towards the support of 60%. I think that there we're going to see some altcoins booming a lot. And that's why also Ethereum, in my opinion, as soon as here we're going to uh, fall a bit in dominance, uh, will catch up with the Bitcoin price. And uh, also in Ethereum and also in some other altcoins, we're going to see some uh, all-time high retests maybe also create new all-time highs and of course as soon as we would lose here the 60 percent in dominance uh, we could easily fall here towards this next support level of around 53 percent and that of course would mean that we're gonna see a huge altcoin season if we would lose here the support at around 60 percent so you see that currently we have a bit mixed feelings here. Of course, uh, the Bitcoin dominance could rise up here a bit for the next coming uh, days. But overall, I think uh, sooner or later, we're also going to lose here this support trend line and fall off the cliffs here towards maybe this 53%. Um, and that, of course, would mean that we're also going to see a nice altcoin season. So for every altcoin uh, back holder, I think sooner or later here, we're going to see huge uh, pumps in the altcoin space. But until then, of course, the show is uh, over on Bitcoin and here I'm expecting some more continuations to the upside in the next coming days. And uh, now we can also have a look into the DXY because the DXY is now having this uh, breather. As I also told you yesterday that it is very likely that here sooner or later we're going to see a breather to the upside. But uh, even though we could even create a higher high here in the daily time frame, latest here at the 200 daily moving average which is now right at the resistance of this ascending broadening wedge here latest at 92 dollars 80 i think we're gonna get rejected here if we were able to go up there but uh, since we got here a sell signal in the daily i'm pretty confident that here uh, we're gonna see follow through to the downside and all of this pullback that we are seeing uh, in the bitcoin price is just because of the dxy uh, of this little breather that we're seeing right now and this, of course, um, affects also Nasdaq and the stock market. You can see that here we got exactly rejected at the 20 daily moving average yesterday. We just touched it and uh, right now we're getting this rejection. And here in Nasdaq, I'm expecting to bounce here between the nine daily moving average here at 12,730 and this resistance now here at $13,100. 
until then we're gonna see a clear breakout to the upside or downside and also here on nasdaq i'm quite bullish we got here a buy signal we only got rejected now from the 50 level in the rsi so you can see that the rsi also came right here at the 50 level and now we are seeing this rejection this initial rejection but overall i'm pretty bullish also for nasdaq and uh, yeah i think here at the nine daily moving average we should have now enough support and from here on then continue to go higher but this is what we're gonna see then next week because today most likely we're gonna stay in this region down here same for the dxy that most likely we're gonna stay um, with this uh, little pump that we are seeing and then of course uh, saturday and sunday um, dxy and nasdaq is not trading so that's why the next price actions that we're gonna see here dxy potential big rejection and nasdaq another breather to the upside this is all what we most likely gonna see uh, next week and not anymore today and that's why i'm telling my friends if we're gonna see here some continuations to the downside so if we're gonna see here this pullback to continue maybe even down towards 52 to 53 thousand dollar maybe also during the weekend if not today take it as a good buy and long opportunity i definitely definitely gonna uh, scale in some uh, longs uh, over on bybit if we're gonna see such a pullback down to 53 to 52 thousand dollar so towards the middle uh, uh, lines here of the bollinger bands and this is where i'm most likely gonna scale in some longs here on bybit i think also the funding rates uh, are decreasing right now uh, right now they're still a bit high here at 0.12 percent but uh, the predicted funding rates are way less so that's why i think maybe during the weekend they will decrease and then it will be a nice opportunity uh, to scale in some longs and for everyone that is interested about uh, trading over on a prime xpt i'm still uh, testing it a bit here and uh, apparently you only pay fees here when you keep alive your trades uh, overnight um, so yesterday I had over uh, $150 uh, in, um, in, um, in a balance here and uh, I, apparently it cost me around $50 now to keep alive the trade overnight. So I think uh, trading on Prime XPT is only good if you do like day trading, of, co of course, like uh, for the lower time frames that is relevant. If you're trading, for example, the 15 minute time frame or the one hour, that might be a good opportunity to trade over on Prime XPT. But for uh, long term trades, I think it's better to stick with the uh, Bybit and Femex because apparently here the overnight fees are very high on Prime XPT. And that's why I would maybe only use these for short term trades. And for long-term trades, of course, uh, still Bybit and Femix are the better ones because also here you can easily estimate how the funding rates are, uh, your leverage, posi position size, and so on. This is a bit difficult to do this here over on Prime XPT. This is just if you're interested in trading also over on Prime XPT uh, next to the co-vesting feature where you can copy trade other successful traders. And if you want to open up an account on all of these exchanges, check out my referral links down below here because with some of them, uh, you get some extra money and of course you also support the channel on Bybit you can get $90 on Femex $80 bonus and uh, if you use my referral link for Prime XPT if you want to try out this co-vesting feature there or trade over on Prime XPT then you get also these promo codes where you get 50% uh, X on your deposit and also 25% uh, off the fees if you use these promo codes that you find here in the video description. All right, my friends, and with that said, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. A big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on uh, Discord. If you want to join our great Discord community, then make sure to use only here the official link that you find in the video description for Discord. And uh, once you clicked on that link, you have to go here to read first. You go here to this thumbs up button, you click it, so you confirm that you are a human and not a bot. And like this, you have free access to our great crypto trading chat. And if you also want to get access to my live stream indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, then you have to send me a private message here because for a little donation, you can get access to this uh, live stream indicator, which is giving you um, buy signals and sell signals in three important time frames. All right, my friends, if you like the content, make sure to hit that like button. The more you click here on this like button, the higher the Bitcoin price is going. Of course, also subscribe to this uh, channel because I do daily TA videos. 
and we're gonna see us uh, all in the next one. Bye!